Hi, this is Russ Anderson. This tutorial is just a quick introduction to the autosave feature in Synthize. So you turn that on from the Preferences panel. There's a little spinner that sets the number of minutes between autosaves. So once you've got that turned on, after some period of time, you're going to get the pop-up to ask you where you want to save the file. So I'll just select a file, save that away. And now, of course, every time I make some change, you know, with, within a minute or so, the file is going to be saved away again. And, you know, if, if you're going and scrubbing in the zone, in the time bar, or changing a spinner, or have some dialogue up, it's going to temporarily block the autosave until you finish doing that. And that gets pulled around every uh, six seconds or so. One thing you need to be careful of when you have autosave turned on is that you don't overwrite the good versions of a file while you're playing around with some experimental version. So if you want to play around with something, you open up that file, save it away as a temporary, and work on that temporary so that you don't overwrite the original file. One thing you'll see Eventually is that there's a little uh, mark at the bottom that shows up that there you go that shows uh, how long it took to do the uh, save operation. You see it's about a tenth of a second. Now this file is, is actually fairly large at this moment because it still has all of the blip information that was created by auto tracking. Now that information is automatically erased when you do a cleanup trackers, as long as you have this little checkbox there. So if you go and clean up the trackers automatically, it takes out that blip information. And that dramatically reduces the size of the file. You can also do that manually using the Clear All Blips button. Now, every time Synthize does a autosave, it does keep away a backup version of the file. So you know, as it's writing the, the new test.sni file, the previous one has been copied to that test.sni.bac file, so you have kind of a backup to the backup file at all times. Now, if you go and open up a file now, you'll see that it'll do that without having to ask you whether you want to save or not, because essentially you've already given permission to save the file by the very act of having the autosave turned on. So there's some interesting little uh, details to all of this. Uh, I urge you to check out the manual, and uh, there's a little section on autosave there that has some of the details of the whole thing and some little things that you may take advantage of. Thanks a lot.